What's up everybody and welcome to Dad Got This. Today is a really awkward setup. I have this giant box here. The good people at Comdo, probably not saying that right, sent me a gigantic air fryer oven to test out. Today, we're just gonna unbox it and take a look at it. The very first thing I intend to cook in here is a lechon belly. Filipino style lechon belly. You take the pork belly, you roll it up with lemongrass and garlic and spices, you put it on a rotisserie, which this has, and you cook it. It's based off of the roast pig that they do where my wife is from in Cebu, Philippines. And we can't roast whole pigs here that easily, but we can get the belly, roll it, and do a reasonable facsimile. Did anybody say that? I say that. Let's open this sucker up because right now the shot is really weird with this giant box. I wanna see what this thing looks like. I'm really excited. I don't honestly know how big it is. You can't tell from pictures. So let's get this thing opened up. Got some recipes, an instruction manual, maybe, I don't know. Oh. Hi, I'm still here. Some metal bunny ears? No, I don't know. Another rack thing. Oh, I wonder if those are for the rotisserie. Thumb screws, this is getting interesting. Guessing the rotisserie pole? Phone. Bam! Look at this sucker. This is looking good. Insert overly dramatic sequence. Why is there fog? I don't know. I could just do it. So I did it. We have more surprises. Okay, issue number one. I don't know how they physically fit this in here. There we go. Give you guys a look at the inside here. All nice and shiny. Shiny's good. All right, we've got some racks. Drip pan. Rack. I think these are like the fryer basket type things. So you're gonna go like that and that, and then you can fry with it. Cause it is an air fryer oven. We've got some skewers. Right off the bat, initial idea, it's not as big as I was kind of hoping for. I mean, not what I, I mean, what do you expect? It's not a giant oven. Um, I'll have to put a really small pork belly in there, um, but pork belly is really rich, so it's not too bad to have not a whole ton of it. I'll, maybe I'll have to cook two, I don't know. Ooh, that's new. It's like a, like a, like a lotto thing. I can play bingo. B42. Ah, oh, that's neat, because that'll keep all the food rotating as it fries, which should keep everything crispier and eliminate some flipping, which is an annoying part of air fryers that you do have to go in there and flip them. Right, lots of these. Let's take a look at the instructions. Important safeguards. Okay, we'll skip that. We have the rolling cage, great for fries, roasted nuts, popcorn, and other snacks. This is where dad just idiot things and attempts to figure stuff out. So there is my rotisserie shaft installed. You get a rotisserie shaft. You get these pokey things, very technical terms. Pokey thing goes through the shaft like so. And now pokey thing's gonna poke into your meat. And they give you two pokey things so you can pokey pokey. And pokey things have screws. I'm really technical here, folks. Take your screw and then you can lock this sucker and you can lock pokey thing onto shaft. Perfect. That's pretty easy to use. What other things can we do? We got the cage. 
I don't understand the need. I mean, I guess they're just giving you skewers to give you skewers. Let me see, rotisserie stand. Use replacing the rotisserie shaft and removing the food from the unit. Where was that? Top tip, don't do what I did. Oh look, a box, throw it away. There's something on the underside of it. Now we can throw it away. Ah, see? This is for, now you've got like this cool stand to hold your food up so you're not like laying it on the counter. This is smart. That I like a lot. Ah, and you got this sucker to get in there and pull stuff out. I like it. There's that. See, I should read all the instructions. You get your nice little basket. Ooh, which is tight. Very, very, it doesn't, not gonna pop open on you. But you get these two little end plates also. See, end plate. Or Chinese throwing star. No? Okay. But you take these two things and you can pokey thing in here, secure it with a screw. I'll get there eventually. And then you can take these suckers, do it the correct way. I want you to do it like this, it looks like. And then you can do these. Ah, ha, ha. Now we cook them with fire. Fire! I'll figure this part out. But you put these things together. So this thing kind of goes together sort of like this. And now you've got rotisserie kebabs. And now you can get rotating kebabs. Dude, this thing's even cooler than I thought. They give you a couple of these. Try not to lose them. Information on how to use it, some times. That's your drip tray. Drip tray should probably always be at the bottom. And then we've got a fry rack. It would help if you could see. There we go. So you could do two rows of food cooking at the same time. Awesome. What kind of recipes we have here? Cornish hens, herb roasted turkey, brown sugar glazed ham, chicken malanese, corned beef and cabbage. Really? Shrimp po'boys, bacon wrapped tater tots, clams, fish tacos, scones. You can bake in here. Cheddar biscuits, mojito lamb, street nuts. I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna go with that. Um, chips or french fries, a bloomin' onion. I don't know where they're allowed to say that. Kale chips. Buffalo cauliflower, pepper steak. I, I know I shouldn't, they were nice to send it to me, but they sent, it has it, you can make, you can have he's steak hoagies. <laughs> As a graphic designer myself, I know how easy it is to make a typo. So I'm not even gonna rail on them. I'm gonna make some he steaks. Chicken wings, pork chops, salmon, apple crisps, brownies. I'm gonna actually try some of these recipes. The last thing we have to do in our little unboxing is to turn this thing on and at least see what it looks like when it's on. First thing I notice is there's a light inside. All right, we got a lot of buttons on here, but it's a touch screen, but it ain't touching nothing. Ah, I bet you. First lesson learned, power button. Can't even turn it on or do anything with the door open. Kind of makes sense. All right, let's start this whole process again. We're gonna hit the power button, which gives us a nice little screen here. 400, gives me some timers, some options. I can change the temperature, I can change the time. I have a chips setting, a steak setting. Okay, so the way to work this one is there's a little hamburger button and that's gonna go through all the settings and it's actually got pre-built in times and temps that it's doing for us as we rotate through. And then we've got a light, we've got the rotisserie, pretty simple, and a power button. That's kind of it for the uh, Comdo air fryer oven, 12 liter air fryer oven unboxing and initial review. Like I said, I'm gonna put this thing through its paces. I may even cook some of the recipes from this um, 
cookbook that they gave me. I don't do that that often, but these look pretty good. I will definitely be making at least a small roast pork belly in here. Small, unfortunately. But so far, initial thoughts, it's pretty nice. Um, it's a little big as far as like a toaster oven scenario. Like it's gonna take some counter space. I store most of my electronics that I don't use every single day, like away in a cabinet and then I take them out and I put them out because we don't have a lot of counter space. I'll be able to make this work. I am super excited to see what this thing has going. I wanna say thank you to the folks at Comdo for sending this out to me, really appreciate it. And I'm gonna give you my honest review of this when I put it through its paces. Uh, they gave me no tips. I'm not told what to say. They don't get to review my videos before they go up. I'll give you my honest review. So far, initial, looks great. Lots of cool accessories. Can't wait to put it through its paces. It fixes a lot of the problems I have with my other air fryers about size and capacity. And this, I'm super excited about. This basket thing, I think could be game changer for like fries and stuff like that. Like to not have to, to, to flip them. That's just great. If you guys are enjoying my content, I'd ask that you consider subscribing. It's free, it helps me, and it'll make you feel good. Go ahead, try it. Push the button. Don't you feel better? I bet you do. That's it for today's quick little unboxing. I really appreciate it. We are coming up on a pretty big milestone in subscribers. Can't wait to hit it. We're gonna celebrate big time when we get there. That's it. I said that's it a couple times already. So you guys know, even when dad rambles on like he normally does, dad doesn't do outros. So that's it.